Hello ladies and gentlemen. So I originally wasn't going to be wanting to do a video on this. I was just playing, but I, I was just playing through my regular rounds of, uh, of Risk of Rain. You know, it was just, just in the past time, just for fun. And I seem to have gotten a very overpowered build. I am playing this on the hardcore difficulty, which means that like, um, tougher enemies will spawn. It means you have less time to do things before this little difficulty meter goes all the way up. And then the game suddenly becomes like a million times harder. Uh... And just, just overall, the world is just much more against you in hardcore difficulty than it is in the normal uh, difficulty game setting. I'm playing as the commander, and um, if you take a look down here, right, I started getting like a bunch of these as well as uh, having two of these. Now, uh, if, for those of you who don't know what Risk of Rain is, uh, it's basically just like a, a 2D side-scrolling, or not side-scrolling, but it's a 2D platforming shooter game. And it can become a bit like a bullet hell almost, uh, where you just face off after enemy, and it, you just, you just constantly, you're just trying to survive really. Your character is just trying to survive because the story is you crashed onto this this strange planet, and you're you're just trying to survive and figure out what a, what on earth happened. So, I'm playing as the commander for this, and uh, I happen to get a build that basically says, everything I do heals me. So I have these leech seeds over here. So every time I deal damage, I get healed. Uh, I also have these, um, you can't see it very well, but these these sides. Uh, every time I get a critical hit, I get healed. Uh, then I also have this little bitty uh, meat cube, which means um, as I attack enemies, they drop little bitty like bits of, of chunks of healing meat. And so I pick those up and they heal me. And I also have the monster tooth. So every time I kill an enemy, I'm also healed. So I'm just like constantly being healed all the time as enemies are dealing out damage and I have a lot of abilities that help to keep the damage going like the ukulele for example and uh, this to increase my attack speed, this to occasionally freeze enemies in place, this to occasionally allow my shots to pass through enemies. Um, there's just so many different things I have here and I was just playing through this and I found that this build is really overpowered because I have a really tough time playing the game. Uh, under normal circumstances. I just cleared out this area and I finally decided, you know what, I'm gonna make a video on this. So if you play this game yourself, you're gonna find that your character does not move around anywhere near this fast. Just look at him. Like, just look at him go. Look at this. He's so fast. Anyways, moving on to the next area. I'm not sure what the next area is supposed to be. I think it's the, uh... Ooh, it's the Hive Cluster. Okay. I was expecting it to be the, uh, the underground one. Uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. But yeah, if you want to, you can go ahead and pause the video and take a look at all the other things that I have down here. I think one of my favorite uh, things that I have over here is would be the golden gun. That is like easily the coolest item you can get in the game. Because basically the more gold you have, the more damage you deal. So, and since killing enemies gives you gold, basically the more you kill, the more damage you're able to deal. But... You can, also, you can also lose that damage whenever you buy things. And there's the boss. Okay. Yeah, since I'm on hardcore difficulty, I'm going to have to, like, immediately... Uh, no. Let's just pause time for a second there. There we go. We do not want to give this boss any time at all to move around or do anything to us. Ow! What, what on earth happened here? You see what I mean? Like, I'm just ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. Do you see how fast like I'm taking damage and then healing it all off? Just everything I do is just constantly reviving all damage. I took down that boss so fast. This this build I have is just absolutely incredible. I don't think I've ever seen a build like this in this game. Like I, I play this game a lot in my spare time, I, I, and I mean a lot because just because I like action games, I like uh, I like games like this because it, it's just it's so out of the norm. You know what I mean? Like you guys, if you guys have been watching my channel, like I usually have been playing like survival games and like games where you craft or strategize or whatever. Uh, so ah, uh, looks like my brothers and sisters just got home. They have no idea I'm recording, so just ignore them. Darn dogs. <laughs> second my family comes home they're just like freaking out <laughs> see he sounds like he's dying he's just fine he's just really excited <laughs> oh that dumb dog i love that dumb dog though 
Anyways, he, he, so I the thing I love about this game is just the the often arcing like enemy types and just, just so many different mm, so much stuff you can do. I'm surprised I haven't seen a blighted enemy yet though, because the difficulty is now nearly full. Uh, it's gonna be full once you see the thing say like ha ha ha. That's whenever the difficulty says ha ha ha. That's how you know it's full. And I'm I'm I, like seriously I'm doing so well on this. I'm actually kind of wondering if maybe I've been doing too well, uh, and it's because the game actually isn't on the hardcore difficulty. Because I'm used to seeing more. Uh, I'm pretty sure though I had this set to hardcore when I started it up. I don't remember changing that. And I, I really don't think that's why I did. I hope that's not what I did too. I'm just gonna go ahead and pause time. I really don't even need to bother. I don't even need it. My car my build is so incredibly ridiculous that I don't need to worry about uh, trying to defend myself or anything. Like, I, sure, I gotta avoid attacks and all. That's important, yeah. But like, I hardly need to worry about it at all because I'm dealing out so much damage that's healing it all off. And my character is just amazing at dodging. I mean, I'm playing as the commando for crying out loud. I, I, you already start off with an ability that lets you dodge. Oh no! As soon as as soon as I live or lose, I'm probably expecting to beat this game actually in this video. But my goodness, this is not what I was. Also, look, take a look at how much money I have. Do you see how fast all that built up? I'm at $5,000 right now. And you see that little bitty meter thing next to my character's head? That little bitty meter is basically uh, that golden gun damage I was talking about. Uh, so when it's full... Whenever it's full, I'm, I'm dealing damage. Uh, when, uh, you know, I'm doing, more, I'm doing as much damage as possible, basically. So yeah, all the enemies dead, just like that. And I'm picking up more items and weapons. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one, too. No, I don't care about that one. That's a good item, too, though, but it's not near... The best item in this game is the... Has to be the stopwatch. Just the fact... The ability to stop time, even though it's only for seven seconds, is so incredibly useful, because uh, you can use that time to sit there and heal. You can use that time to... Um, get into a better like strategic location you can use it to just get away from your enemies you can use it to deal a bunch of damage like I was doing but it's really up to you how you want to use it and it honestly I think it gives you the most variety and strategies that you can use it for as opposed to any other use item that exists in risk of rain here we go Ooh, we're at the temple of the elders all right swaggin so, yeah, uh, I wish I could have started this off at the very beginning just because it's so good. And honestly, I did have to come close to death a couple times. Nope, th this is hardcore difficulty. That's a blighted clean man. That is basically a boss. I love the blighted enemies, though. They're so cool. I love their variants and stuff like that. And Oh, <laughs> oh you teleported back over to me. He's like, I ain't done with you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I love how dumb enemies are, too. Yeah, you think you're gonna live. You think you're gonna live. You think you can... You think you can take me out. <laughs> you think so. I love the fact that my my little bitty ice cube weapon down there uh, lets me slow down enemies also, right? So not only will it occasionally free, freeze enemies, but it also slows them down, too. And that just means... Yeah, they're, they're gonna have such a hard time. Yeah, yeah. Those guys are pretty cool, too. I like the enemies in the game. Uh, if there's any complaint I have about the game, it's that it is that they try to like put lore into the game, but then they don't really go very deep into it. And I kind of wish that they delved into that a little bit more in this game. I'm not entirely sure why the developer kind of stopped with doing that kind of stuff. Ah, nothing. It's a shame. That thing, by the way, was a very special shrine that you can only find here, uh, in the temple. See how fast I deal damage to these guys. These enemies are actually really tough. Like, really tough. Or, not really tough, but just because they attack in so many numbers. Like, you can see here how many of them there- how many of these guys there are. 
That's just some of the boss. I know that it gets rid of the heart temple things. I know. I played this game a lot, like I told you. I've even beaten the game. Uh, not as every character, though, which is, I guess, if I'm going to turn this into a series, that's that's always been the intention. But I guess, yeah. Oh, yikes. But yeah, my health is looking pretty bad. There you go. Here's the best way to fight against guys like these. You just kind of... You just kind of want to sit in a place like this, where they don't get a lot of room to shoot at you. And you just... See, so you can see here, I'm dealing so much damage, I'm healing off whatever damage that they're dealing to me. It's just all returning right back to me. Uh, I try not... Uh, another thing about the game is, and I'm just gonna, you know, just consider this like, I guess, advice from a guy who really, really loves this game and plays it a lot. Don't go with the drones. The drones, they suck. They don't, they're not that helpful. Um, there are some good drones, like the laser drone is pretty good. And there's also like a, I think a medical drone, I think it's called. Not the, not the healing drone. Those ones are very common. I'm talking about like, it's like, it's called a medical drone or something like that. It's super rare. Uh, but when, whenever you have it though, it's so good. Uh, it heals a lot more efficiently and a lot more effectively than the other, than the, than the previous one, than the more common one of the two. Ow. Don't do that. A third golden gun. Are you kidding me? Golden guns are ridiculous. Do you see this? This is these these enemies are supposed to take forever to kill, and I'm just I'm just wasting away at them. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's another another thing I wanted to bring up. Uh, you notice how he dropped an enemy? That's due to the uh, the four leaf clover item. It kind of looks like a bush or a tree or something similar to that. Um, not sure what you, I'm not sure what you're looking at it and thinking it is, but that's kind of, it's called the four leaf clover and it just basically means, uh, these elite versions of enemies will drop, will occasionally drop items when you kill them. And since I have four of them, I have quadrupled the chance of them doing so whenever I kill them. So yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm unkillable, but I'm pretty difficult to, to take down. As I am right now. And um, you notice how when my health got low, time automatically stopped? That's due to an item that I have called the Time... Uh, I think it's called the Timekeeper's Watch, actually. And it's it stops time for about three or four seconds or something like that. Anyways, just, just long enough for you to... Just long enough for you to get away or heal or whatever you need to do. Uh, in that short in that short span of time Just to ensure you don't die, you know because you know the power of stopping time is really incredible um, And it's overpowered obviously I don't even I don't even need to use the stopwatch now like I'm Just wasting away at these guys There you go. So I just shoot him down here, and then I go down here and finish him off. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory uh, strategy I got going on there, and that is one of the more basic strategies to the game. Uh, honestly, whenever I play this, I usually, usually my strategy is just find the boss as fast as possible, summon him, and then run for your life. Because most of my builds, most of my character builds, don't have this amount of healing stuff. They maybe have like one or two, or none. Usually none. Uh, and so I have to like I have to really rely on like having a healing drone or a medical drone or whatever other kind of drone to keep myself alive as I try and survive. Ooh, another meat cube. Yes, meat nuggets good because they cause the enemy to drop chunks of healing flesh. You see those little bitty red chunks in the ground there? See, I walked over it and then I just got healed. Probably didn't see that very well, but you can go back and take a look at the footage, footage if you want. Also, golden chests. Rarest chest in the game gives you the best items. Tesla coils, shock nearby enemies. Yes. Sorry if I'm talking too fast and it's hard for you to keep up, but I'm excited right now, and I talk fast when I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. This is this is slightly getting this is getting significantly less exciting. <laughs> there we go. That takes care of them. We only have one enemy left. I just mowed those guys down. They were nothing. Oh, that item's okay, I guess. Uh, that's... Yeah, that's gasoline. 
just read the text it gives you a pretty good idea of what it does i have no idea how these most of these weapons operate though oh my goodness more movement speed are you kidding me i already moved so fast the ability to move even faster though yeah now i know my character doesn't look so great to you guys like right now but if you play this and you get a little bit of perspective oh my goodness are you serious Every time I kill an enemy, that fires bolts out of their bodies, which will damage other enemies. Overpowered character build. Overpowered. This is like... This is like the Binding of Isaac kind of overpowered. <laughs> uh, for the record, guys, I will not be playing that on this channel. Or at least I have no current intentions of doing so. I originally did because of Afterbirth, Afterbirth Plus, and I was really wanting to get that and, you know, just uh, just absolutely destroy every, everything. But I kind of decided, I just kind of changed my mind and decided that the game is just, because I want to be a family-friendly content creator, or, yeah. And if I'm playing a game where you play, they may... I, I can't talk about it too much, but you guys get what I'm saying, though. Like, if you guys know what The Binding of Isaac is, you know what I'm talking about. I can't just do a series on that. If I'm trying to... If I brand myself as a Christian YouTuber that's just trying to create a family-friendly uh, community where people can gather and not be harassed by, uh, by uh, people who are not nice... Oh, I pressed A instead of Q. <laughs> oh, well. That's okay. I kind of do want to test and see if I can survive the, uh, like with this overpowered build. Um, so what I just did, guys, is once once you get to that place, the Holy Temple or whatever it's called, uh, you have you have a, a very particular, a very specific choice. You can either... You can either... You can basically either go uh, and fight the final boss... Or you can basically just keep playing, and it sends you to, like... It basically sends you back to the very first level of the game. And this is the... It's not... It's not necessarily the very first level. There are, like... It, it, it really just... It's all random gen. So, anyways. <laughs> I'm doing a very poor job explaining that. But... Man, this game is so good, though. Okay. No, you don't. No, you don't, Jeremiah. Get out of here. Yeah, here... I love the elite mobs though. They're all like there's so many different forms and variations. Honestly, the only thing that would make the game any better than it already is. Oh my god. Do you see that? Do you see how much damage they did to me and then how quickly I healed almost all of that off? All it takes is just a couple shots. Just a couple well placed shots. Because yeah, dealing damage heals me, critical hits heal me. Like everything I do pretty much heals me. See how quickly those guys died to me. It takes no effort virtually. And everything dies. Ooh, the wandering vagrant. I was wondering when the boss was gonna show up. No wait. No, I'm supposed to get like a more powerful version. I remember I did a series or er, I used to do a series on this, uh, back when my channel was much smaller. Back when Back when I still called myself the King of Awesomeness, that's how, uh, that's how long ago it was, and I was doing a series on Risk of Rain, and, uh, basically, um, I was playing this game, right, and I, I'm not very good at it, so I, di I usually didn't get very far in most of my videos. Ah, ooh, I should stop talking, I really need to focus. There we go. I really need to focus, actually, because I'm almost dead. Please, don't kill me! Ooh, that was close. That could have actually killed me. Ooh, get that. There we go. The more enemies I kill, the more I heal. The more I can ensure my longevity. 
I just realized that uh, the timer ran out, so enemies aren't going to spawn anymore. But yeah, since this is on hardcore difficulty, though, uh, one thing, you know, in case if you've forgotten... What just happened? Oh, that's right, the ceremonial dagger. That's right, because they were kill I was killing enemies, and then they were dropping those, uh, those ceremonial dagger bolts, and then they were killing each other. Hope this gameplay isn't too hard for you guys to follow, though. Those of you who are like really really invested and are watching because I know that for the most part my videos aren't ever most people don't watch my videos in, except for about maybe like a minute a minute and a half it's usually no no not even a minute and a half just a minute that's my average view time I'm not boring right I'm not I'm not boring I'm entertaining <laughs> oh well anyways Uh, so, I guess I do want to hear something down in the comments below. If you guys are enjoying this, do you guys, would you guys want me to do, like, be doing a series on this game again? Like, get back into doing it? Because, I mean, I'm basically at 100 subs, and I was thinking that, uh, basically as my 100 subs special, I would start, I would do, like, a third series instead of doing two at a time, like I've been doing. Um, and a lot, part of that's just because, you know, I, know, I know that not too many people are that invested in my Room World and Don't Starve series. Mostly just because, you know, they're very old games and there isn't a too, there isn't a whole lot of things that's been done in Room World and Don't Starve that hasn't already been done. Except for what I'm currently doing in my Room World series. But anyways, basically I was just wanting to mix up the gameplay a little bit and bring something with a little bit more action into it. Uh, I'm talking with, uh, my, uh, my buddies, um, my, uh, you know, Extreme and NRD and them to see if, uh, see if maybe they'd be interested in, and in, in doing a series with me on another more action-oriented game, uh, that's, like, a free-to-play game, uh, so that, that's kind of what my initial plans were, but if enough of you guys down here in the comments want to just see me play this, like, just please, uh, hit the like button and, uh, uh, just let me know, you know? Because, like, seriously, I can't, uh, I can't determine that that's what you want if you're not telling me that that's what you want. I remember a while back, there, I was doing a series on something. What was it? Uh, I can't remember what it was. It was, no, I remember what it was now. I was playing, uh, what's it? I was playing Sunny 2, and I remember I'd have this one guy commenting on my videos going, play more sunny 2 and where's more sunny 2 and like constantly like asking me like to play more of that and i'm just like haven't didn't i like already beat the game on my on my old on my old series uh i kind of uh and i was originally going to get further into the sunny series but uh let's just say stuff came up let's just put it that way okay i'm gonna have to actually start paying attention here his attack pattern i think is a little bit faster is it just me, or is does he attack faster than the others? Oh, I missed with that. That's wow! I love how overpowered this build is. Oh man, it's beautiful. This is true art, art in its finest. There we go. So all I really need to do is just keep using this. <laughs> the shotgun blaster, laser blaster. Hey, Lincoln. Hey, you want to be in the video today? Okay, that's going on to YouTube, by the way, Lincoln. I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, then, hi, everyone watching. That's my brother, Lincoln. You guys better be nice to my brother in the comments section. I'm talking to you, comments. I'm, I'm talking straight to you. You better be nice. Sorry if I sound like a girl or something. <laughs> why would you sound like a girl? Um, why would, why audio. Would... Uh, you wouldn't sound any girlier than me. Actually, no, that's not completely true. My voice is deeper. There we go. I was wondering where that item... There we go. 
I'm really getting tired of these guys. These guys deal way too much damage, way too fast, and I don't like them. See that? That was like half my health. Stop it. It's so hard to time it too because they, they do it so quickly. I mean, and you're looking at a guy who has quite a, a pretty good, a pretty solid amount of hours into this game. The normal ones are much easier because they just they just don't attack as frequently. Are you kidding me? Jerry, get down there. Did I kill all of them? I think I did. Okay, well, since I have like eighteen thousand, seventeen thousand dollars, let's just spend it. All right, I guess it's confirmed. I yeah, I totally can survive this. Hmm. Faster healing when not in combat or random. I kind of. I think I want a random. Uh, good enough, I guess. Random this one. Yeah, more healing, yes. More healing is always appreciated. Oh my goodness, I didn't see that. Hold on. There we go, pick that up before it despawns. Okay, Sorry. have a good one, Lincoln. That's a good item. I'm getting so much good stuff here, look at this. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I attack even faster. I'm already ridiculous. Yeah, if you can just survive long enough to get a lot of items, like... It just stops mattering whether or not you, you're bad at the game or whatever. Another jump. Beautiful. Ooh, let's random this one, too. Oh, I'm disappointed. That, that was disappointing. Ooh. That didn't kill them instantly? <laughs> I love it. Having the ceremonial dagger effect just makes it so much easier to take care of those guys. Take care of the first one, and then you still have those little bitty orbs floating around. So you spawn the next group. And then they're killed, like, instantly, because the orbs are still there. Like I was saying to you guys before, um... If you're playing this for the very- if you play this game for the very first time, your character will not be like mine is. Just straight up. He's super, super weak at the start. You can go back and watch my old videos if you want to. Actually, oh, I don't know if I should be leaving a link in the description. My old videos are so low quality. Oh, man. Like, it doesn't even matter that visually they were 720p. They're just not nearly as good as they are now. I may as well pick up the drones, I guess. Pretty sure, wasn't there another drone up here somewhere? Yeah, there was. I knew I was. I knew I wasn't forgetting. There we go. That's weird. I thought Lincoln was still in here. Okay. Should I go to the final level or should I revisit previous levels as it states? I think I want to do that one more time because I didn't get to fight one of the uh, the uber versions of a boss. So I'm going to do that one more time. And honestly, more items equals better chance of beating the final boss, so. This game is so much easier to play and beat on uh, the normal difficulty. Like, seriously. This, this is a win. I can, I'm straight up telling you, this is going to be a win. There's no way it's not. Unless I, like, really mess up. Ooh, a blighted parent? I kind of want to find it and kill it. But first, let's summon the boss. Yeah, you're not going to tra traverse this area the first time the way I just did. There's just no way. So I forgot he can move again. Where is the... Oh, it's right there. Now, where is the blighted parent that that's talking about? I, wa I want to find it. Where is it? There it is. Hey, kind of. I actually kind of hate the fact that they're invisible. Ooh, 
This is ridiculous. This is tense. Come on over here. Come here. Oh, no, 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 no. Get your missiles away from me. I do not appreciate that. I have no respect for individuals that fire missiles at my face. Is he healing? One of the enemies has been... Oh, I forgot about the secret... Yeah, there's a sec there are secrets in this game, by the way. For those of you guys, you know, that like secrets. Artifact of Spite. And I just die. <laughs> no, I don't. I they re I don't know why they do I don't know why they don't count that as an insta kill in the game. I guess because sometimes that can be accidental and not your fault. So they don't want to design this game to be like, okay, we we like I think they designed the game with the intention of uh of it being like, it's not, uh, it, the only, you're only gonna die if it's, if it's like your fault. You know what I'm, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you're not ever gonna be able to like, easily, or, you're not gonna be able to like, instantly die. They don't want a feature of the game that causes you to insta-die, ever. I, I, I think that's kind of... I think that's kind of why uh, the game is the way it is. Hold on, do I have the shield ability? Wow, of all the things I have, I do not have the Guardian's Heart. That's amazing that I've been playing this much of the game without getting a Guardian's Heart. That's like one of the most common items that I pick up in the entire game. Ooh, that enemy is fun. Hold on, I want to stop time for a minute. There we go, you know, just a casual day of stopping time. I should have waited until my health got low, but oh well. Cool thing about this build is that you don't have to play optimally in order to survive. Ow! I don't appreciate that. That was a lot of damage. But I mean, he's probably more scared of his for his life than I am for mine. So, considering the fact that he's dead. Yes, the ukulele again. Double that. Double. So, you know, I've always been curious about what double of each item, like, does. It's not very well explained, and the game does not explain it at all, even if you, like, go and look up, like, menus for the game. What is this? Oh, that's random. Hmm, dice or ran- I'm gonna go random. Boo-hoo! <laughs> no! Didn't give me what I wanted. I still haven't fought one of the overpowered bosses yet. I'm very disappointed that I haven't fought one. Like, that guy wasn't one of the overpowered bosses, right? He was just an elite version of his regular self. There's, there's like, the regular boss, and then there's the elite version of that boss, but then there's something much more powerful, and I, I can't think of what it's called right now. I just can't. I'm not even sure why I can't. They're not dealing any damage to me. They can't even get close. Oh, there we go. That's how you get close to me. Blight Apparent has the right idea. Just teleport and die because you're not able to hold on why was i taking damage like over time as i was was it because he was still in ground slant ground ground slamming mode mode i don't understand oh well whatever the case is he's dead i didn't get to fight one of the overpowered bosses which is really disappointing there's like, uh, the overpowered bosses, or, they're called overloaded. That's what they're called. They're called overloaded. And it just, it just basically means they're, they're super powerful. And they will give you a hard time. Also, uh, infusion, that little bitty, uh, red item that I got earlier, thing is ridiculous. Your health can get to extremely insane amounts because every one kill brings your health maximum health up by one. Like seriously, you see, I just killed like two, like three or four guys. Health went up four points. 
So basically, if you can fight, if you like happen to be fighting a boss that spawns in enemies, like say the Colossus or the that pig thing, can't think of what it's called. Uh, yeah, you can just basically cheese the game into giving you infinite lot, infinite health. But it would take forever to get there, so why would you waste your life doing that? And you can just be overpowered and play the game good. And stop being bad at games. I, I don't know why I paused time just to take care of this one enemy, honestly. It really was a waste, but uh, honestly, I don't, even, I don't even care. I'm so overpowered, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I launched him all the way off the edge. And boom. That's how you take care of a... That's how you take care of these guys. I didn't even get that many items from this area, but I did get some good ones. The item Mitosis, uh, that decreases how long you have to wait for your use item to become... I pressed A! Stop pressing A! Me! I'm going to go fight the final boss. Hold on just a moment. Let me go find the boss. Let me go find the boss. Yeah, sure. Spawn a Colossus right on top of me. There you go. It's instant action for you right there. I shouldn't be darker right now. Okay, good. Here's the boss. Summon. I died! Instantly! Oh. oh, that's such a shame. Well, okay. Uh, I guess that'll be all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But now it's time for you to pay your taxes by clicking that like and subscribe button. Also, be sure to ring that notification bell so you can find out when the next episode becomes available. With all that said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.